So I've been reading The Holy Spirit and His Gifts by Kenneth E. Hagan. And today I was reading that the children of Israel could have taken a direct route to the land of Canaan. But because of their unbelief and their disobedience, they were stuck in the wilderness for 40 years. I mean, imagine 40 years of being detoured, of, of waiting for your to just realize your purpose and your calling on this earth. 40 years. And it had me sitting there thinking, so we have all of these things that we ask for in prayer, all these things that we desire, but yet we don't really believe that they can come to pass. And when God gives us the plan and the instructions, because he knows the destination, we're like, ah, now I'm good. And then we take all of these random stops along the way instead. And it's like in real life, it's taking the roundabout way instead of the direct route to the destination. So you plan a trip and the option to, let's say, get to Alaska is, hey, I can take these three stops, go here, go here, go here, and it takes me 52 hours to get there. Or I can take a direct route. I can go directly from where I am now to the destination, which is what God is saying that he wants for us. He's like, I've given you the plan. I've given you the instruction. Now go. The destination is right there. So instead of it taking you 52 hours, the roundabout way could have, let's say, taken you three hours, let's say. You could have been at the pool eating your nachos already. So saying all this is to say, stop taking the roundabout way where you can go the direct route to your purpose, to your calling, to what God's best is for you.